Uh, good day. Uh, good day, all of you. Uh, today I'm going to uh, be teaching about uh, proteins. Uh, bio triple uh, one lecture fourteen proteins. Uh, we are supposed to have a we are supposed to have a lesson in the morning, but uh, we are unable to 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 have uh, a lesson. So at first we say that there are, there are four organic molecules, which are carbohydrates, proteins, lip, uh, lipids, and nucleic acids. We say that these are the building blocks of 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 of, of lives. Uh, in this lecture of proteins, in this lecture of proteins, we are to we are to study. Um, Okay, as you can see, uh, the representation of, 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 of a human body. Um, inside the human body, like there is inside the human body, uh, water takes up 70%, uh, the macromolecules takes up uh, this percentage, and the ions and molecules takes up this percentage. Uh, from these micromolecules, which, are, which we are studying, we can see that uh, Proteins are uh, they take up the larger uh, the larger uh, portion. So in other words, we can say uh, that the relative uh, proportion of my, uh, the micro uh, molecules in, in a human body, uh, you will see that our proteins um, they occupies a lot of uh, space as compared to to other micro molecules. So proteins are large. Proteins are large, uh, they are complex molecules. Complex uh, are large and complex molecules. Uh, we can say that uh, they are made up of monomers. Uh, uh, smaller units called the amino acids. Uh, if you can reflect back to carbohydrates, you said that carbohydrates are made up of saccharides and proteins are made up of, made up of amino acids uh, which are attached to one another in chains uh, the same principle is going to continue applying that if you have a pro pro amino acid here linking to another amino acid linking to another amino acid you are going to form a, a protein the amino acids are basic building blocks of, of proteins or these are the monomers of proteins uh, same applies to the to the saccharides which are monomers of the carbohydrates which are monomers of the carbohydrate. The, 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 the proteins are required for the structure, function, and regulation of body tissues and organs. You might, uh, if you must remember, if you might remember this, you guys were learning in high school that uh, proteins are being needed uh, to, to repair tissues uh, for growth, actually. Uh, because growth starts uh, by repairing of tissues and also the replications of, of cells. Most proteins are functional and they have a diverse um, group of biomolecules. The functions of proteins, proteins are involved in a lot of things. Uh, proteins, can, they can function as enzymes, 
uh, which are, we, we call the control molecules, protein skin functions are as the structure in keratin and collagen. Protein skin function as the carrier and for transportation, such as the glycoproteins. Protein skin function as the receptors and the bind and binding uh, site for the defenses. Also, protein they can function as to uh, contraction structures. Uh, when you now look at the myelin and the actin, the muscles. So the, func the, the functions of proteins are so diverse because they, as you see, they are major, major in the body. There are a lot of proteins in the body. They are ranging from enzymes and from muscles, ranging from carrier proteins, they are also ranging from what? From receptors and binding sites. Hormones are also proteins, which means we can say that the other function of a protein is to signal. And most, uh, most proteins, uh, we see them in what? In storage. Uh, proteins are uh, in bean seeds. When two amino acids link together, they form what you call a dipeptide. We can say a peptide uh, is an amino uh, acid, is an amino acid. So when three amino acids link, they form a tripeptide. They form a tripeptide. Four to four to ten amino acids they link. They form an oligopeptide. There are three to four, I mean, four to ten amino acids linking, they form an oligopeptide. Uh, More than ten amino acids, when they link, they form what you call a polypeptide. They form what you call a polypeptide. Proteins in the body and, uh, and diet are long polypeptides. It means the proteins which are we normally found in the body or which makes up the body sometimes, uh, they are polysaccharides. You know about the, uh, the process of digestion. Uh, all of these, they are going to uh, take place in direction, but the proteins that you are going to be seeing most of the time are the, the polypeptide. Polypeptides are long chains of amino acids. We can say that uh, these proteins can have one or more peptides uh, chains, which sometimes can be folded or bonded together. Uh, proteins have a complex 3D shape. The chemical structures of proteins. Uh, proteins, uh, they, they exist in four structures, which are the primary structure, the secondary structure, the tertiary structure, and also the quaternary structure. So the primary structure of proteins is a, uh, it's, it's a sequence of amino acids. Uh, whenever they're, in, they're still uh, in a single peptide chain or can you say a strand, we can say that they're existing in a primary structure. So the sequence of amino acids is determined by the DNA. So in this sequence of the primary structure, a slight change that we can happen in the sequence can affect the structure and the, and the function. So this sequence of, of the primary structure is going to determine the what? The sequence of the second, of, of the 
uh, secondary structure because uh, they are there's a there's a way in which uh, they they link there's a way that they 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 link as a, as a result affecting their um, folding you can see it uh, you can see the example of, of of a primary structure there so we can say that uh, the proteins have what you call an amino group there and also what you call the carboxylic group uh, this is now the amino as, uh, acid uh, bo lysine uh, bo glycine bo alanine so you see that there are 20 amino acids and most of them you find them in in, in primary structure and there is a way how is there is a way that they link meaning that whatever they link or however they link is going to affect the going to affect the the secondary uh, structure you can see also the the structure of any uh, um primary structure of, of of proteins so at this level you are not supposed to know uh to need both glycine valine and also the system you tell them also when i was also a protein in a layer of the group the amino group but in understanding test this structure are going to claim it The first structure there is the primary structure. This one. Secondary. Tertiary. And quaternary. You can see that the process are, or the complexity of the protein increases going down at the, the structures. So in the primary structure, you can say that proteins are, proteins will be assembly. In the secondary structure, you say that um, proteins will be what? Will be folding. Uh, in the tissue structure, you say that proteins will be packing. In the cutting structure, you say proteins will be what? Uh, interac interactions of what? Of the proteins. Let's study the structure of an amino acid and amino acid this is where now the topic gets interesting an amino acid we have a central carbon this is a central carbon and after a central carbon then amino acid is going to have an amino group this is an amino group um, after that, the protein, the, the this the the protein we have a, a a carboxylic group. This one, two, three, and also this hydrogen, they are always there at the uh, in the protein. For you to tell me that this molecule, this uh, micromolecule is a protein, you need to know, or you need to, uh, the, you need to be able to identify the amino acids, the central carbon, the carboxylic. Uh, acid and also the H atom this is a hydrocarbon uh, chain sometimes can have rings here and in all these but is an R group or a side chain of a protein so these are the functional groups which are they need to be there for you to classify as something as as protein so there are variable group from 1 to 20, the R groups. As you know that these are going to be now amino acids attaching to each other. As we say that there are 20 amino acids which can form a sequence in this to make your name the R group or the side chain.
So let us look at an example of uh, some uh, specific amino acids, and you need to be able to, to name them. That okay, this is a, a generic amino acid. The, uh, this is a resemblance of what an amino acid should have. Should you have one of the 20 unique side uh, groups, an amino group, and a H, a central carbon, and also a carboxy group? So, glycine is the simplest amino acid that is there, and most of the time we will drain glycine. You need to be in a position to know how to draw glycine. You need to, need to be in a position to know uh, to how to draw an FNA Fenly alanine. Fenly means uh, this is a, a sort of, 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 of a phenol there. Uh, which are, uh, I mean, sorry, a, a ring. So that's what we call it, it's a, a fengli, a alanine. So building blocks of proteins, we say that whenever you, you, you build the protein, an amino acid and an amino acid, they have to come together to form a polypeptide chain. Uh, so the direction there, you see, is, a dehydration synthesis why why do you call this a dehydration synthesis because we see that water is lost water is lost from the uh, during the reaction uh, so and the bond which is going to be formed now this bond in red when an amino acid comes to the, when it reacts, it reacts with an amino acid is called the peptide bond uh, the linking amino group or uh, in one amino acid to to the carboxy group or to of 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 another amino acid there is a, a link in there so you can see that uh this bond the cn bond cn bond has been formed and we call it a peptide bond We can say that um, a polypeptide will have the the N terminal, which the N terminal is going to be called the am the, am the amino end and also the carboxylic end, uh, which is a C uh, terminus. C terminus. The, repeat, the repeated sequence of, of this bond, the NCC of the polypeptide, is, is called the backbone of the, of the polypeptide. So, you guys will need to go and study further uh, on, on, on this. So, this was supposed to be a lesson which I, I missed. I hope you guys were ready. Uh, you ju you just I uh, use this as a reference, and you I think you now appreciate uh, the work faster. <laughs>